Hi, today I want to get back to Ukrainian grammar, specifically to Ukrainian cases. In Ukrainian, if we talk about location or a place of action, we use the locative case. Locative case answers the question where, the, where, the, and usually is accompanied by the prepositions. First is v or u, which means in, or na, which means depending on the context, on or at. Let's see the examples also before we look at the examples. There are several rules about it. First is that when we use in noun in the locative case, we add uh, the letter E in the end. This rule applies when the noun ends in a consonant. Also, there are some exemptions of this rule, but we will see them in the end of the lesson. Let's see the main and general examples now. As a question phrase, we will use the phrase where have you been, formal one. De be buli. De be buli. So, de be buli. More, see. At the sea. Na mori. Na mori. Plage, meaning the beach. Plage. Na plaži, on the beach. Na plaži. Concert, concert, concert. Na concerti, at the concert. Na concerti. Zavod, plant or factory. Na zavodi, at the factory. Na zavodi. Now, prepositions v or u, meaning in. Where have you been? De vi buli. Škola. School. Škola. U školi. In the school. U školi. Magazin. Shop. Magazin. U magazini. In the shop, u magazini. Kino teater, cinema, kino teater. U kino teatri. In the cinema, u kino teatri. Now about some peculiarities. When a noun ends in a syllable, ka, in the locative case, it will change to si. Let me give you an example. Or several examples. Knishka, meaning book. Knishka. In the local case, it will be u knishci. U knishci. In the book. Richka, meaning river. Richka. In the river. U richci. U richci. Exhibition, meaning vistavka. Exhibition Vistavka. At the exhibition will be Na Vistavci. Na Vistavci. Also, if a noun ends in a consonant, K, letter K, or another letter D, in the locative case it will take ending U. So, let me show you two examples. Sad, meaning garden. Sad. In the garden will be U sadu. U sadu. Another example with letter K. Park, which means park. Park. And in the park will be U parku. In the park. Uparku. 
Now, let me give you several examples to make it on your own. Ložka, meaning spoon. Ložka. Videlka, meaning fork. Videlka. Doška, meaning blackboard for a student or just board uh, for a carpenter. Doška. Tarilka, meaning plate. Tarilka. Universitet, university. Universitet. Restaurant, restaurant. Restaurant. Silo, meaning village. Silo. Try to use these words in the locative case and also try to apply the words you learned from the previous lessons in this case. And if you have any questions or comments or wishes, feel free to write me or comment.